Good morning, everybody. Um, Molly here at Driven, as usual. Uh, it is, I don't know, like 8.15 or something in the morning, and on my way out to the shop, I got bit by like 85 mosquitoes. So um, I'm gonna be hiding inside and hopefully staying in the metal room for most of the day today. Um, Steve has been working very diligently on getting the fourth quarter Nova um, in its test fitting stage. And I'm gonna show you some of the work that we've already done on that car and how we've got our metal room set up so that we can work efficiently in fabricating panels, doing sheet metal work, all of that sort of thing. So a um, bunch of new tools just got stuck in here. We've still got a couple on the way, but um, we're kind of buying them one at a time because we're running out of room. So we need to figure out what the best layout is as we go. So I'm gonna flip you around here and then you guys can take a look at the fourth quarter Nova which is sitting on a body cart. We have taken it off of the rotisserie because the rotisserie was allowing for too much, too much flexion in the body openings. So we wanted to make sure that it was totally level, straight, and that we had a um, square and secured surface to work with. And so far, we have removed I think about 90% of the metal from the main body that we are going to be taking off. So all of the black panels that you see on this car right now are uh, replacement sheet panels. Some of them are screwed into place, um, such as like the firewall. Uh, some of them are in fact welded because we had to do, sorry, a minor repair up underneath the dash. So those are actually done and welded and then we've got some that are clamped and we're running out of clamps so we're gonna have to uh, go ahead and screw some of those in so that we can continue clamping the quarters on the car so steve has got the floor in place the trunk floor is also in place so you can kind of see through the back of the car there he's got the inner fender or i'm sorry the inner quarter wheelhouse replaced on that side. This one was okay, so we left it. Both of the outer wheel housings are also done, which you can't really see because now the quarters are set on it, but it's, it's the black thing that you see through this quarter opening. And um, this is the last side that he did late last night. So this quarter is just in place. It's not even clamped in all the places it will be. Um, but you can see that he's lining up the door openings and getting ready to test fit the roof, which will be next. Um, this is all test fitting stage. So what is going to be happening after uh, everything gets clamped in and screwed in place in some cases is um, all of it will come back off. It'll, it'll first get marked measured all of the openings need to be measured for square and final test fitted so essentially we're putting the entire car together with sheet metal screws and clamps taking the final measurements marking out those spots um, modifying panels if we need to and um, then we'll blow it all back apart do the final prep on the panels and weld it so the next things after the roof would be trunk lid will be test fitted and doors will be test fitted. And then we'll even um, use the front stub. So we'll place the car down on its stub. The rear axle is gonna be underneath it. And then we can do, um, make sure that everything is absolutely where it should be. Now we're gonna mark it because sometimes things move as you get going. So we need to make sure that uh, all of the measurements stay on point once we start welding things on the car. Um, this, Quarter is fitting very nicely on the door opening. Um, when you skin a car like we are here, so this, this is not secured or anything. Um, all of the structure underneath has been cleaned and sanded. And this, this lip will obviously get cleaned up much more. Uh, and then all of the edges that are going to be meeting each other will get ground down, um, it'll, they'll have little holes cut in them for the spot welds, and then you use weld through primer. And all of the surfaces underneath will get a primer covering so that it's not bare metal because that'll just flash rust right away. So uh, we want to prevent that as much as possible. 
So this car had the inner cowl, firewall, this is the entire floor. This, this bracket here is just for um, structural integrity, so that will obviously come off. Uh, we did inner and outer wheelhouse on this side, so you can see, hopefully, the light's a little tough, but um, all of that is lining up well with the frame rails. We did some straightening on the frame rails. That happened a little bit farther back here. It's really hard to see that up there, but there was some weld repair and some straightening happening back here. Um, this is kind of what the spot weld holes will look like on where all of the surfaces are going to meet. And um, so this is a full quarter. So we're reusing this um, like upper trunk area and then this tailpiece. They do not make this tailpiece. This one needed a little bit of repair. And right now it is not clamped in place yet. Uh, this lower cross rail support was also replaced. That will need to be modified a little bit. So today that's the first thing that's gonna happen is that this tailpiece will be set in place, probably screwed in place, and then we'll move on to the roof. Um, taking a look around the metal room, we've got our chop saw and my uh, anvil there. Toolbox for all of the metal tools. There's a bead roller, a planishing hammer, shrinker stretcher, welder plasma cutter, um, and then those doors open and close so that we can get the cars in and out of here. Uh, and then my, fit, my personal favorite is the English wheel. So we'll be adding like metal brake and things like that. Uh, we do also have ventilation so that the fumes and things from plasma cutting and welding can be extinguished as quickly as possible. Um, so we're gonna be making like a, a bigger metal table than this. This is like my makeshift portable one. And oh, we've got our giant uh, grinder also, which will also have a wire wheel on it. Um, so that's kind of where we're at right now on the car and on um, building out our metal room. Hopefully we can add a few more really fun tools. I want a metal brake for sure, and then maybe a, a metal, like a roller die or something like that. But um, we need the space first. So some of the other stuff that is going on in the shop um, doesn't look that full right now, but um, you can see we've got a 48 Ford here that is going to be getting a totally new rear axle and hopefully some improved suspension, although it's lowered so much and um, so weirdly that that's gonna be a challenge in itself. And then the 36 Buick is sitting over there. It is this, this close to going to upholstery. So um, I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of that too, because I'm actually pretty happy with how this car is coming together. Uh, take a look at that. You gotta love that emblem. And that whole front end is looking beautiful. This is the car that has the wood body. So we had to do a whole lot of um, tightening, loosening various bolts. These are the body bolts that go through the frame. So those all had to be sequentially tightened, loosened, modified, what have you. Um, we did end up doing a little bit of a shim on this um, lower uh, hinge. And up next, we'll uh, finish this window installation. That one's got both windows in it. It's looking really good. And the dash is just beautiful with that burl wood. So just wait, because this car is going to be fabulous. Take you straight back to 1936, only better, because the factories back then didn't put them together very well. So I'm going to sign off and get to work because Rachel's been over here working and um, she's making me feel bad. So I'll uh, check in with you later. If you have any questions about what we've been doing to the Nova or what tools we're using, just give us a shout and uh, we'll keep you posted. Thanks, everyone.